What's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. I just got back from Animate Raleigh and although I am exhausted, I cannot wait to show you guys what we picked up. There are a ton of Funko Pops, so stay till the end to check those out. But we got a ton of stuff that aren't Funko Pops too, and I can't wait to show you those as well. And we're just gonna dive right in. We're not gonna keep you guys waiting. Um, let's start with the art, because there were, when I tell you guys, there were so many incredibly talented people there. I just, I, I, I just, it, it makes, I, I'm speechless. I'm so tired. Starting off with these super cool patches, my wife has this cool jean jacket that's got like some Nezuko paint on it, and so she wanted some more anime patches to go along with it, and so she picked some of these up. This is a Deku. This was, um, this was designed and embroidered by one of the artists there. This is a Bakugo, which I love a ton, and then this is a Shoto. Uh, Todoroki right there. So she picked up three of the My Hero Academia people. Gnome Depot, if you want to check them out, I think they have an Instagram, so you should go check them out. Gnome Depot right there. Super great people, loved stopping by there and getting those patches. And so, yeah, that was, that was the first thing that we picked up. The second thing, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool, although I wish it fit in my wallet. I'm a two-star hunter. That's all, that's all I can say. I'm a double-star hunter. I'm just like Gene Freaks. Oh, I appreciate that. I hope you'll stay friends with him. That's all. Because I'm just too good. I don't even want to try out for the third star. So I'm content with two. But y'all, this is super cool. Pick this up for like five bucks. This is one of my favorite little pieces, little knickknacks that we picked up from the convention. Okay, we're going to skip this print because we're going to save autographs until later. But I won this super cool Jujutsu Kaisen print right there. We won that in a game. My wife loves it. I think it looks kind of generic, but I do like it. Super cool. And then there was some incredible art, and I forget who the artist was that did these, but I picked up this toga right there. Really amazing prints. Picked up this Zenitsu. As y'all can see it right there. That Zenitsu is super cool. Loved it. I wish they had all of them. I would have picked up all three but they had Zenitsu and I just had to. Okay, next up, we have these little figures. Y'all, they're not official Legos. I don't know, these are like super off brand. I'm gonna get up close shots of these Legos for you. But these Legos are super cool. We have Nezuko, Mitsuri, Daki, Gojo, and last but not least, we have our guy Tengen. These were the five that I picked up. I had a friend, he wanted a couple too, so I think I got him like Maki, Panda, and a couple of others from Jujutsu Kaisen, but these little figures are amazing. They're my favorite, and I love them. Okay, now let's get into some Funko Pops and signatures. We're gonna start with this signature here. I know it's really hard to read on camera, but this is a photo of Freya. She is a playable character in a game called Smite. Smite was one of the first video games that I ever played and her voice actress was there. And so I had her write on this paper VSG, which means I'm the greatest. If you play Smite, you know what I'm talking about. And then she signed this print. I printed this at home and she signed it, it was super cool. She didn't have any Freya prints at her booth, I guess because it's not that popular of a character. So I was glad that she got to sign a character that she doesn't often get to sign. Moving on to our little figurines here. We picked up a couple while we were there and starting us off is this Kirito. This Kirito is freaking awesome. I love him. He looks super cool. I wish this figure had his had his kind of like cloak on, but doesn't on this figure, but that's okay because he looks super super cool. Next up, and she already came off the base, but that's okay, is this little Nezuko. Nezuko is super cool. I like the colors on this. It's a little muted, but I don't mind it. It gives it a pretty like unique aesthetic. Okay, next up we have three figures from the same line. I just had to get these because they were so cool. Here is Nezuko. She's supposed to be eating, but she's not because she can't. And then we have my man Rengoku. I thought it was too fitting to get Rengoku. I just absolutely had to. It was just, it was just too perfect of an opportunity. And so we also picked up Rengoku and so we got some pretty cool figures and they were all super cheap. I, I saw these at a booth for like 30 bucks each and we went to the next booth and they were eight dollars each. So we totally stole those at least we avoided getting ripped off at least and now to the pop. Now if you watch my vlog you'll know that I traded a Funko Pop for this Komugi right here. I traded the 
what was it? I think it was the Mr. Potato Head as Bumblebee for this Komugi chase. Right here, the Mr. P Potato Head as Bumblebee was skydiving in value from $100 all the way down to 50. And so this was a great trade. Shout out to that vendor. They are the only vendors doing trades. There are not a lot of vendors accepting trade offers probably because they were lame. Okay, and then I played a mystery box and got scammed. So we pulled a Thor, although it was a $15 mystery box and this is like a $21 piece. So he'll probably be in a Whatnot Live auction soon. If you wanna follow me on Whatnot, you can. Just check out the description below. We have one, two, three, four, five. We have like six pops that we got signed. We have one last pop that we didn't get signed. And this is the 2021 re-release Kirito from Sword Art Online to go with his figure and to go with my Asuna pop back there. I have the original Asuna, and so this will go great with that until I can get my hands on the original Kirito, because that's like a $70 pop. It's a little expensive, so we gotta save some money for that one, but I figure in the meantime, this $15 pop will do just fine. Okay, now to all of the signatures on the Fungo Pops. These are all grails. Every single one of them is a grail for me. This lineup at Animate was absolutely insane. When I tell you that they had some incredible talent on their voice acting list, I I was just absolutely blown away. And so we're gonna start with, let's start with, yes, let's start with Hunter Hunter with Meruem. We have right here a Meruem signed Funko Pop, Max Middleton. Um, this pop I already had signed. I just wanted him to add the quotes. And so the quotes we went with, we went with two quotes. We went with the classic. Guys, this brought me to tears. This one actually brought me to tears while I was talking to him. Komugi, are you still there? Komugi, are you there? Of course I am. Go ahead. It's your turn, Lord Meruem. I feel rather... tired. I shall sleep. Man, heartbreaking. And he did the voice. He did the voice, y'all. A tear ran down my cheek <laughs> when he did the voice. Y'all, it was, it was too much. It was too much for me. And then the other quote is in the hands of the incompetent, power brings nothing but ruin. So I feel like that captures Meruem's kind of like overall demeanor very well. He's a very, he was very like, he's a very interesting character. That's why I love him and his character arc so much. Okay, now let's dive into Demon Slayer. We got Sonami signed right here. This is a super cool pop. This is actually the same voice actor. Kaiji? Kaiji, I think is his name, who does um, Gojo in Jujutsu Kaisen. I had him quote, look, it's the human blood that you love so much during the Hashira meeting. Nezuko pops out of the box and Sonami's trying to get her to bite and attack him, but she doesn't. And this is the this is the quote that he says to her this is super cool and yeah one of he he just signed it so great the blood is in the red his signature is in the red phenomenal pop one of my favorites okay now we're diving into the jujutsu kaisen pop the rest are jjk there was a ton of jjk there and yeah we just we we had to go all out starting with gojo now this Gojo you have seen on my channel before because this is my custom art Gojo that I've shown off on this before. Now I posted a TikTok asking you guys what quote should we go with and I, I ended up choosing ha ha ha, I'll murder you. <laughs> because it's just too perfect. It captures Gojo literally perfect. It captures him better than the, Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, moving on. We have Sukuna. This is another pop that I had going into the convention, but we had to get it signed. The quote in his very messy handwriting is, you dare. Touch my soul. Signed by Ray Chase, the voice actor of Sukuna, also the voice actor of Tengen. But guess what? Funko hasn't gifted us with a Tengen pop. What are you doing, Funko? What are you doing? Stop giving us Bob Burgers and freaking Cartoon Network and give us what we want. Now that I've now that I've calmed down, um, the next two pops we got we got Yuji Itadori with Black Flash. This is super cool. Love this pop. It's his rock. This is the shared convention um, exclusive sticker. And yeah, I just he did such a great job. He doodled all over it. He's such a nice guy to meet. And. I think, if I remember correctly, there was a panel where they all got together and they all kind of like 
just talked about Jujutsu Kaisen. It was a great panel. There's footage of that panel in the vlog. You should click up here, one of the corners, and go check it out. Um, but he said that this is his first ever anime that he's ever, that he's ever voiced in. And he does an incredible, incredible job. He's done cartoons and things like that, but for anime, this is this is the first one he's ever done. And so he's done an amazing job. And yeah, I thought that was a super cool tidbit of knowledge. And then last but not least, I, I wasn't going to get this signature. I, I confess to you, I wasn't going to do it. Um, but I ended up breaking because my friend got this signature and I just love the way that it looked. We got Megami, Demon, Dogs, Go, and Feast. And if you can't see the colors there, it is a silver pin and a light blue pin. And y'all, it is just absolutely gorgeous. This pop actually might be one of the favorite pops that I got done at the convention um, because I love this color combo. And then he did some art there on the side. And y'all, I just could not be happier. We have officially claimed the entire JJK main cast on our grail picks. The next one that we have to get is Sug are we Suguru Gato, right? And, and now... Now, oh, and I also have Kugasaki, but I didn't get that at the convention, but I've had her. Um, but I'm kind of, I'm kind of conflicted here because now what do we collect? I think, I think the next one is Demon Slayer Hashira. I think that's the next one we go for is all of them signed. I'm already kind of getting there and Sonami is a, you know, a step in the right direction. But y'all let me know down in the comments, what's the next line that we should start collecting together? Let me know. Let me know what your favorite is in the comments below. But there you go, guys. There is my haul from Animate Raleigh. Guys, it was a blast. I really did have a ton of fun. It was a great time getting to meet these voice actors. I met Phineas and Ferb, which was super fun. I unfortunately didn't get their autograph. I met a ton of My Hero Academia, including Tomura Shigaraki. He, his voice is just so good. It's actually one of the dubs that I genuinely think I enjoy more than the sub, and he's one of the reasons why. And so, so he was great to meet and yeah all around it was a great time thank you guys so much for 1500 subscribers we are on the way towards 10,000 subscribers and I really really could not have done it without each and every one of you and so huge shout out to you guys huge thank you to you guys I want you to know that I'm super thankful for each and every one of you and guys I cannot wait until I catch you in the next video hey hey hold on don't click away if if you're still here it's free and you should like the video because you're still here and you enjoyed it at least somewhat and you should leave a comment even if you don't know what to say just drop an emoji help the algorithm out help the algorithm help me that would be a huge huge I would be so thankful for that so you should totally go and do that and guys if you haven't checked out this video right here I don't know what you're waiting for because it will help you out on your Funko Pop collecting journey.